So the question now is what really happens when someone visits this URL? That is our domain.com slash refs slash two numbers. All right, two different numbers. What happens? So let's go and write the code that will make it happen. First of all, we need to go to our route folder. We go to route folder, go to web. Let us see what we wrote here. The first number represents the user's ID. Second number represents the ref category ID. Okay, so and um, the code is supposed to exist inside a function called refs that is inside this ref category file. So let's go find the ref category. It's inside app HTTP um, controllers ref category. Now we need to create a function called ref public function index. Sorry, we'll call it refs, right? So I'm going to do request. Request. So um, right now we can now do a lot of things. For instance, um, we can do input equal to request call. So we can now do dd in Laravel. If you want to print something to the screen, you do dd dd uh, input. We just want to be sure of what is contained inside the user underscore id. Let's see if there's anything contained here when we visit this URL. So I'll come here and copy this URL, a random one. So what I'm expecting to see on the screen is a white screen with um, just one, the number one printed because it should print the user id there. So do that, paste and go. So a blank screen. Okay, so now um, it's telling us that this is not defined. All right. So um, which means the request we try to use doesn't didn't work. Now the, the solution would be easy to do user ID. And what's the next one? The other one is ref underscore category underscore id so if we now we've passed in the two of them if we now come here and uh, do a dd remove this if we now come here and do a dd what will happen it will we, let's see if it gives us exactly what we're looking for we, need, we just need to see one on the screen okay white screen but if you look here, you see the number one, you see, that's the number one. And what do you observe? We didn't, um, let's assume we didn't pass in this second option. The second parameter is ref category. Let's say it doesn't exist. Hit enter. It throws an error and that error says too few arguments because it's expecting all the time this function the way it is written now expects that all the time there must be uh, the two of the fields, the two of the um, items must be there. So let's make it optional. So uh, we can now come and refresh. So it's now optional, you see. If you just add null equal to null, the two of them become optional. So the first thing we're going to do is if there is no user id we should redirect to the login page so i think we should do that in the next video now now we have a function that processes what happens when people visit our referral url now in the next video we'll write a code on what exactly will happen see you